Kelly, who hardly knows Audrey, stops her as they leave the local park where the band has been practicing. I see you getting close with Bobby. Does he know about how you treated Frank? That was a most embarrassing situation for Audrey. She knows she isn't going to like this any better, but she pauses to hear what Kelly has to say. I can keep a secret if you can do a couple English papers for me. Audrey, with some understanding of performance thinking, realizes immediately that this is not some win-win situation. It is not friendship where Kelly will value who she is. It is not a performance contract where everyone comes out ahead. There is no coordination for any purpose, because Kelly isn't going to lose anything if she later decides to tell Bobby things. This is a false contract. If you will do this for me, then I will not hurt you. It is more properly addressed as blackmail than as any matter of performance, and it is not based on accomplishment so much as withholding damage for a price. When this is done by young people, it is known as bullying. It is taking away some other teen's freedoms based on being willing to and able to hurt them. There is no coordination here, and Kelly has no reason to withhold harm, even if Audrey does comply with her demands. Performance is not assured. We find ourselves back with the early lesson with Brad giving little Timmy a shove. Having friends, people who do value you, may not prevent the harm, but provides valuable resources. Kelly is, by the very nature of her threat, working alone. If she had already published it to others, she has nothing to sell. Audrey's friends will still be with her, even if she has had some embarrassing breakup with a former boyfriend. She can call on additional resources, and Kelly probably cannot. This is part of being really free, accepting the consequences of what you do. It starts in your teenage years because that is when you are first given real decisions that can go wrong, and that is also your foundation for handling them, realizing that you are the only party in interest when it comes to what you do as you grow into an adult. Teenagers are in their learning years, and these are times when we experiment and test. These are the years when we all make mistakes and all have things go off track because we have no basis for an experience for what we choose to do. Of course there will be embarrassing moments, and maybe even times when we have managed to avoid punishment for what we do that wrongs others. That is part of growing up, and it will be as true for Kelly as it is for Audrey. Audrey is so upset that she doesn't know what to do. She just says, give me some time, and walks away feeling miserable. So how could she handle something like this? The answer is not an easy one, but the performance direction is set. She has friends, resources that can help her in her need, and Kelly has to act alone. Audrey takes this to Ginny and Rhonda, who she can trust as friends. Will you back me? When they agree, she writes a paper for Kelly, but it has just a few sentences. If you tell Bobby, Ginny, Rhonda, and I will be there to tell any boy who ever gets near you how you tried to shake me down. She delivers it to Kelly with three signatures on it. Kelly is also a teen. What does she do with this? It is clear that she has stirred up more trouble with several people instead of just dominating Audrey. It isn't working for her, and now she is the one who has received the threat for what she was doing. She is also a teenager, and the question is one of learning from getting bad results in her attempt to dominate Audrey. Does she learn? It is a potential benefit for Kelly as well. This is the nature of the challenge. Kelly tried to create a false coordination. Audrey has reversed the harmful situation, and both of them can continue learning. The very purpose of our teenage years is growing into effective adults, not learning to dominate others. The one who comes to effect by dominating others is almost certain to be alone, never learning to tap into the real potency that comes from coordinating the performance efforts of others.